Scorpio. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading. So if it does resonate, like, share and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more Empath Energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, Scorpio, let's dive right in and see what messages Spirit has for you. All right, so I can see that you are on a bit of a quest right now. And this is a personal introspection quest of figuring out exactly who it is you are, what it is you want out of this human experience and where it is that you're planning on going. Now, I feel like you have been, I feel like you have been learning new things. I feel like you've been putting a lot of time into your spiritual practice, into your growth. I feel like you've been more aware of where it is that you are looking to go. And I feel like a lot of limiting beliefs are being lifted at this time. The energy is feeling much more light than what it was um, even just a few reads ago. Um, at this time, it feels like there is energy being put into a particular activity or um, adventure of some sort, uh, some degree of new beginning in your life. And, you know, this uh, energy being put into this is really promoting a uh, particular um, uh, new energy of growth in your life. And this is very exciting. This is exactly what the universe asks of all of us is just putting energy into something that you want to see grow or that you want to see happen in an abundant way, as in with a, a surety and a knowingness that this will work out because that is what we came here to do at, to achieve. It is our birthright to have whatever we want. It's um, very much a program um, that's instilled here that is you must work super hard you must ha do this you must do that you must be this you must be that in order to get ahead in life and it just is not so you of course we have to apply action but it must be inspired action an action that comes from the heart action that is again is an inspired form of, 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 of moving forward, not a forced or an efforted energy of, I should be doing this, or I really need to do this. Whenever we have a should action, right? We're shoulding all over the place, you know, then what's going to happen is that we're going to create a lot of resistance. And when that happens, we have too much pressure. It feels like pressure feels like we don't, we're not capable. feels like we're stressed, feels like we're anxious. Uh, and, and, and at this time, that's where you want to recognize those signs and symptoms in your body, particularly as a Scorpio because you're very deep and you're very very much intuitive very sensitive so this will completely hinder and block off the receival mode from the universe so in order for the universe to be able to communicate with you now on your journey to push you forward it's just about remaining in a peaceful eager relaxed presence, knowing that the universe has got your back, knowing that the universe will make it very clear for you what your next move forward is by the inspiration you feel. If you feel no inspiration, then you continue living your life, doing activities and engaging in certain things that just bring you happiness and joy. This could be something as simple as going to work, kissing your husband and wife, having a nice dinner and going to sleep. It could literally just be that. If that's what brings you purpose and joy, Perfecto. That is, that's exactly where we're at, right? That's what we were looking for. However, if you feel unsatisfied with where you currently are, that is where you, again, do what well, you, this is very important. You really want to make sure that you do not put any added pressure on yourself to relieve this unsatisfaction. At this point, you want to remain in a state of receival mode. So you want to say to the universe, I am so grateful that the universe is guiding me. I eagerly and excitedly anticipate what the universe has planned for me. In the meantime, I am going to live my best life. Something along these lines, light, open, airy, not pressured, not stressed, not efforting. Because I can see here in the next little bit, Scorpio, you're going to see an influx of new energy that's going to promote a lot of growth uh, amongst your peers, amongst your relationships, amongst your family life. There's going to be a new bond to circulate Perhaps you may even be joining forces with your loved ones and creating a business or creating some degree of um, career or some degree of new uh, opportunity, right? Adventures is what keeps coming up in my downloads here. So a new set of adventures. Again, this is going to be a, um, a, a, a guided uh, a journey. So again, don't effort it. Don't stress it. Just let this unfold. I feel like there's going to be a lot of... Um, 
um, I feel like there have been in the past a lot of decisions that were more um, going back and forth in your head. A lot of stressful decisions were trying to be made. Should I do this? Should I not do this? Going back and forth. And I feel like this energy is all going to be completely lifted. I feel like you're going to have a clear understanding of where you're headed. The universe is going to show you this guidance. And I feel like the universe is very quickly here going to promote this new found sense of self for you, Scorpio. You're going to become a new version of yourself because of these limiting beliefs you are removing from from your energy centers, right? Being able to walk away lovingly from situations, people, energy, thoughts that are no longer serving you. You're going to be very aware of what these are moving forward here, and you are going to be able to grow to new lengths. There is going to be, again, a newfound sense of growth as the death card likes to validate here. So the death card is all about uh, renewal, really. You know, death sounds um, so um, harsh. However, death really is a, a, a creation of new. And this is the process of what's happening right now. Think like a snake shedding its skin, uh, something along these lines. It's a very much a spiritual growth and it's very powerful and very profound what's going to be apply, being applied for you in the next little while here, Scorpio. And that's why the universe is really making it clear that now is the time not to really grab onto anything too significantly. This is a time where you just wanna feel very fluid, very free. If you find yourself concentrating on something and it's coming off with an, a stressy kind of energy or an anxious sort of vibration, you want to let that thought completely go and you want to think to yourself, literally feel to yourself, oh, I'm overthinking this. Oh, I'm overstressing this. Let it go. Feel out something that makes you feel better. Hmm, what would feel good to me right now? Would it be making a nice meal? Maybe would it be going for a walk? Maybe hanging out with my loved ones? Maybe putting some energy into my work? Whatever feels good, put your energy into that. That's how we navigate this human experience and that is how we remove ourselves from any form of scarcity. If we ever feel like we have a I can't achieve this, I'm overwhelmed, this isn't working for me, I'm not good at this, I am not worthy. All of this is a complete facade, it's a fairy tale. No, 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 it is not a fairy tale. It is an illusion, absolutely the wrong word. It is an illusion, okay? It is a fear illusion, it's not real. What's happening is your conscious mind is taking all the data that it's accumulated from your human experience so far and it's giving you all its data. So in the retrospect, it's it's almost like, again, you're here solo by yourself. You're only as good as what you've gone through. And it's just not the case. You have a, a, an immense amount of wisdom and an immense amount of help from the divine. I mean, you can have all of the answers you could possibly ever want if you tune into your heart and if you tune in to the fact that your conscious mind is going to try to take over. And when you go and when you get detached from the conscious, thinking of the act of thinking and you mm, start to go more into your ethereal body, you start to feel it out, start to feel what feels better. That's when life changes because then we really do connect to our entire life force, which is just, again, a plethora of information. It's, it's truly endless. You really can access it all. And that's when we start to feel more ourselves here. And we're not walking around lost and unsure and insecure and afraid because we remember, oh yeah, we're, we, this is, we're just visiting this place and our family and our home and our real loves are all right here in another dimension. And we are able to reflect with them and connect with them when we just stop thinking for a minute and remember that the thinking mind is a consciously trying to solve a solution energy which will never work and when we go into our feeling state then we remind ourselves oh yes the, my guides and angels, my, my, my home, my loves are always guiding me. And as long as I remember that and I stay true to my heart and my feeling and I don't go up here too much, then I'm going to be okay. And that's always what it really truly boils down to. So it's important for you to be comfortable in your body because it's your body that energetically picks up the symbols, the signs, the guidance from the universe. So if you are feeling too overstimulated, too overcaffeinated, too sugared up, it's going to affect that ability to feel the feel the guidance. Okay. So you want it. This is a DIY. Every, every single avatar is different. 
different, every single one. It's why you want to collect data about who you are and figure out what foods can I eat that make me feel incredible? What foods can I eat where I'm grounded and I'm, and I'm, I'm you know, here and I'm not, you know, escaping reality? Uh, you know, how, how, what can I push my caffeine limit to? What, what is good for me? You know, where I'm not flighty. You know what I mean? This is about collecting data at this time, Scorpio, for yourself, because universe is saying, get comfortable with, with yourself, because the more comfortable you are with yourself, the more you're going to be able to pick up the signs from the universe and you won't be in your own head over stressing it, overthinking the scenario. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Scorpio. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.